What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. I am Jerks, and joining me today, it's a full squad. We got JD McKinney. What's up? We got JP, aka Linkser101. What's going on, y'all? And of course, the man from uh, Shushima, the ghost himself, Public Enemy59, aka Los. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, all right. Let's let's just let's just go into it. Let's start off with gaming. Pew 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 pew. pew. Game over. Pew. All right, gaming. So this week, Halo Infinite. At first, it got it got like kind of like rumored leak, like oh, Halo Infinite's multiplayer might be free to play, and then all of a sudden, confirmed. Uh, it's yes, free to play. It, it's confirmed. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play now this is an article from uh polygon 343 confirms it plans to for the xbox series x launch title to be free to play on the multiplayer side now reading from the article halo infinite's multiplayer experience will be free to play and will support 120 frames per second action on the xbox series x developer 343 industries confirmed friday afternoon their information was first published on an irish toy retail's website according to the verge Smith's Toy Superstore, a large retail in the Ireland and in the UK, briefly published a promotional page with information about this Xbox Series X and Halo Infinite. The page was removed, but cached versions are available online. On the website, Smith's wrote that Halo Infinite will have a groundbreaking free-to-play multiplayer experience. And quote, it also noted that the gameplay will run at 120 frames per second and quote, greatly reduce load times. Thoughts? Well, I mean. Uh, I think that's, uh, once again, you know, Halo's trying to do whatever it can. A lot of this is relying on Halo uh, as far as Xbox X. Um, from what I'm seeing here, that I guess it's a good move. It's free to play for everybody. I understand, you know, the method of it. It's like, I, I guess, it's a good move. It's a good move. The gameplay for Halo has always been very good multiplayer-wise. Um, my one concern has always been the graphics. What I'm seeing here, 343 four, three, uh, three, four, three Industries did respond in concerns to that. Um, they did say that they heard the feedback, that, that they're trying to run the campaign demos they announced. I, I won't believe it till I see it, uh, but I think it's a good move for Halo multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Halo multiplayer gets a lot of people involved. Um, mm -hmm. uh, well, I think it's a, yeah, it's like JP says, it's a good move. After all the hate uh, they've been receiving um, mm -hmm. about uh, Halo, the graphics, I mean, l l you could make an argument. The reason the game doesn't look as great fidelity-wise is because they're trying to push 120 frames per second, which is not something current consoles could do. Uh, the fact that the new Xbox One X, uh, the Series X, is going to be doing that, like that's pretty amazing. Right, mm -hmm. that's like PC level frames right there. Mm -hmm. uh, the Series X is going to be doing it, so you, I, you gotta. I believe you gotta, it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. Well, I believe they're going to hit 120 frames, and I think that's why you're seeing the hit on fidelity, the hit on the assets, on the graphics, because you can't have it both ways. You can't have but state I thought of the art Xbox, visuals. I thought Xbox run at 120. I thought the new Xbox has the most the most powerful console. I don't well, if you want if you want to pay fifteen hundred dollars, then yeah, you can have both. Mm -hmm. But if you want to pay five hundred dollars for a home console, you're you're not gonna have it both ways. So, mm -hmm. I I finally understand why. I was a little disappointed in the graphics. Uh, I wasn't on the show last week. Uh, I'm sure you guys touch on that. But uh, one hundred twenty frames per second. That's crazy, right? Uh, so to I could I rather have that in a Halo game. Than the fidelity and all the graphics. JD? No, I'm with you guys. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, again, once again, they're kind of falling on the heels of Call of Duty, but still, it's a good, good falling on the call on the heels of it because you know they're, they're setting up a very massive game that every a lot of people enjoy, and it's going to be mm -hmm. free to play as far as the online mass aspect goes. So it's going to be it's a good marketing move. I think it's going to make people. You're probably going to have more people who are going to want to pick up the game later on. And you're right. As far as the graphics go, yeah, they even admitted, hey, this is not the best. This is what it's going to be right now, but we're still mm -hmm. tinkering with it and we're going to make it better. Hopefully that comes out right. And hopefully within, you know, in the next uh, Xbox uh, show that they do, mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft show they do, we're going to see some more of those updated graphics. But we'll, again, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, 
I mean, personally, it's a, it's an instant buy. I mean, I, I'm a Halo fan fanatic. You know, I've been yeah, same one. So it's it's regardless of what they do, I'm still gonna play it from the storyline, and we'll see how things. Progress, yeah, you know, Jerks, uh, what say you? Uh, free to play. Uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, I'm I'm interested in like how far the free to play will be. Uh, I mean, right now, most of the main modes that everybody plays is like Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and uh, King of the Hill. Um, as far as like what extra th modes they're adding, I'm I'm interested to, to see how the free multiplayer will jump in there. Like, is it free multiplayer completely? Is it only like a certain area, kind of like um, Call of Duty is doing with Warzone? Like, their Warzone is free to play, but if you wanted mm -hmm. to play the regular multiplayer, you had you had to pay yeah. to play. So I wonder right. if it's something like that too that's gonna happen. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, the other thing too, I mean, people people have going uh, back and forth about the graphics. I mean, I thought it looked fine. Uh, the 120 frames is something that uh, that will be great to see on the console. It it is very different, like from 30 or 60. Like at first, like I, I didn't think so, but then like once I upgraded to start playing on the PC, there is a major difference there. It feels smoother. It, it's it's weird to explain until you actually experience it yourself but it is different um but yeah i mean I, I really don't care about the graphics being like not 10 out of 10 only because their idea what? their idea of what the game is going to be is is interesting and i want to see what they what they're doing with it first before i'm over here getting my pitchfork and and torch and ready yeah. to be burning down like three four three industries even I though mean, i don't even like three four three industries i, I think like they 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 they, they they're like probably the worst company to give this like franchise to, but they're 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 nobody. <laughs> and you gave yeah. like Halo to these people, but I guess whatever. It, it is what it is. Know. This is where we are with this with Halo and, and well, its developers. I, I will say this. Um, I you know I was a little disappointed by the graphics. I'm not gonna say I wasn't, mm -hmm. but in the end of everything, in the end of the day, gameplay is king. And if your gameplay yeah. is on another level, if your gameplay is fun, if it's exciting, if it's competitive, that's in the end what makes a game. Yeah, you might drop it a a a, a, a point down. It might be a nine, uh, a eight because of the graphics. But in the end, if it's the gameplay is trash, then that's a three or a four or a two, right? So yeah. Yeah. in the end, gameplay is king. I was a little disappointed with the graphics. I'm hoping those get better, maybe mm -hmm. over time. Maybe by the time release, but gameplay is first and 120 frames per second. Uh, this console player over here, they don't know about that. Uh, they never <laughs> experienced that. Once they do, they'll see things in a different in a different light. All right. Uh, moving on to the next uh, part here. Major Nintendo Giga Links. Uh, this article from The Verge. Let's read. An unprecedented Nintendo leak turns into a moral dilemma for archivist. Uh, according to this article for the past week, Nintendo fans have, have resembled digital ar archaeologists following a massive leak of source code and other internal documents, appropriately dubbed the Giga Leak. Uh, previously unknown details from the company's biggest games such have steadily tickled, trickled down. Oh, trickle down. Mm. Trickle down. Uh, those pouring over the code have uncovered an Animal Crossing villager. Early prototypes for games like Pokemon <laughs> Diamond cut characters from Star Fox. Uh, a very weird Yoshi and strange uh, titles like a hockey RPG. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest discovery has been a Luigi character model in Super Mario 64. From a historical uh, preservationist uh, perspective, the leak is an incredible find. It's a rare look into the process and discarded ideas of one of the most influential and secretive companies in video games. But for those pr uh, preservations, dig preservation. Oh man, these big words they're using today. Dig it through the data <laughs> that excitement is tainted by a moral dilemma. The origins of the code leak are still largely unknown, but it's likely that it it was uh, obtained illegally. That presents a potential potential question. Yeah, that too. Does the source of the leak tarnish all the historians can learn from it? Question uh, mark. Quote. It puts a bad taste in my mouth. A bit about the leak, to be sure. But perhaps my curiosity about the data is overriding my moral compass. Somewhat in the case, because I can't say I'm unhappy to see the data release, end quote, says an archivist. Who goes by the handle, Mr. Telda? 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 Uh, quote, the volume of new knowledge and understanding of this leak has brought, is brought, is a, is at times overwhelming, end quote. Um, uh, right off the bat, I mean, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, 
those people are full of shit and they're all hypocrites because there's a shit ton of leaks all the time and then people are eating that shit up so shut the f up you fucking hypocrites dude like no dude no f that like that that right there pisses me off i don't even know why that alone is like the idea of this, this article like i hate when the leaks happen to games that i love and that's why yeah. they're doing that shit they're saying that like i get it but I'm not. I'm definitely not putting like Nintendo on a fucking pedestal and be like, "Oh, how can you ever do this to Nintendo?" The fuck Nintendo, sure. man. No, fuck Nintendo. Those assholes yeah. like are still selling their fucking like year old, like years old game at full price. Like, no, full price. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna feel sorry for them. I mean, if, I, I, if, yeah. I agree with you. I but, agree with um, you a uh, hundred. Uh, specifically with Nintendo, they they're just money grabbers. Uh, they haven't updated their system, and as yeah, far man. as uh, 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 um, you know, quality of graphics for years and then with specifically with pokemon they sell the same crap and people but the thing is people still buy them as honest people still buy them people love them that's why they have yeah that's why they have this yeah. mm-hmm. this hype this and perception that- of them being so like godly mm-hmm. why everybody's still paying like those high prices for their old games exactly. uh high prices for their pair for a sec- accessories and apparel whatever um i mean it, it's us basically the ones who are putting that that high value on nintendo exactly but really exactly. It, it's like we're paying we're paying like Gucci brand, but it's coming out of Walmart. Like you know Legend I mean? of Zelda, Legend of Zelda is still fifty nine ninety nine. These motherfuckers have not lowered that. Is shit that game not worth sixty dollars? Uh, not after three years. How long is it? Yeah, been? it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Th- that's right there. Though. That, that right there is why it will continue to be sixty dollars. That's why. Yep. Yeah. And people continue to buy it. Why? Because yeah. it's and worth people $60. Will continue to buy it. Yeah. If you, you know buy, what? if you buy a new Switch, it's still the best open world game on the Switch. It's better than a lot of open world games on on PS4 and Xbox. I agree. I agree. But yeah, it's worth I, I I don't think there's nothing wrong with leaks. I, matter of fact, it's it sucks that the leaks come out to games that you love, like you said, Elias. But sometimes it's for the better. Uh, sometimes okay, when so. le- leaks have leaks have saved me money. You know, I saved uh, sixty five bucks this <laughs> year on le- on le- and leaks alone. Um, so that to me is like a big win because at the end of the day. Elias, and I know you hate you hate to hear this, but there has to be a buffer where the gamer has the has the power in some ways to decide what games to get. Wow. And, and the reality, I is, agree with. I mean, yeah, it. but that's why there's reviews, not yeah. leaks. Yeah, no, but you can't trust reviews. You can't trust obviously. Yeah, fake sides. news. I mean, it's fake news. You don't. You, I mean, you're you're saying you can't trust reviews. You can't trust reviews from news. from certain like outlets. But you have this one guy that you love, and you're trusting his review. But that's well, the same thing. And, it's his his yes. point of view on the game. But see, that's but see, like that's why it's my choice. I follow this one specific person because he has the same ideas game. as you. At, well, not really. He has a little bit more than me. But um, and he plays other games that I wouldn't play but there's certain games where he goes into full detail and for me animal crossing from 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 what and he plays animal he he loves animal from from when i play with whenever he plays a certain game that i like i analyze it and he gives you like the and he doesn't try to push or give you fake shit like he's pretty we're going way off topic but yeah the point is the leaks the leaks i like the leaks it helps me decide what games i want to buy and I okay okay it. so you the leaks what the leaks that this has to do is with historical content a lot of what we're releasing this leaks is stuff that was that years is in ago. old games years, canceled yeah. games yeah. like who cares uh, assets <laughs> they're yeah, so old <laughs> i agree who cares so these these leaks Rumor are that it was taken from the last uh, hack that was done on Nintendo when they remember when 10,000 people were affected by the hack like whatever these fuckers were I mean, yeah, they went after people's credit cards and all that shit, but they also were able to get this information All this is really doing is exactly for that for historians people because Nintendo never releases old information, any information on the development of their games. Yeah. And so this is kind of their fault as well. The reason this is so sought after, why it's even in the news, right, is because Nintendo never talks about this, never releases any, any information on this. Like, there was a, an asset for Luigi and Mar- Super uh, Mario 64. Like, no, there were always rumors for over decades for that. Yeah. And finally, it's it's out that th- that it's actually true. So it's just, to me, I don't care. And if we I'm have an archivist. I'm taking that information. I don't give a shit because Nintendo ne- would never talk about it otherwise. Yeah. And if, uh, I mean, that's, and then Nintendo well, wants to do something about it, do it. But 
I right? actually, Whatever. Nintendo has been pretty quiet regarding all these leaks. Haven't they? Exactly, yeah. which is surprising. Yeah, it's super surprising. So usually, they're probably quiet because they're getting their lawyers ready to go. They're like, hey, go find this motherfucker. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> go, go ahead, JD. Go ahead, JD. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you guys. I mean, it's just a matter of this is old information. This is, I mean, you're, so it's really, honestly, it, I don't mind this kind of stuff coming out just because, like I said, it's, it's in the past. It's just information from stuff that's already been released. I don't like to see new information for, like, on upcoming games because, you know, as, as, as game creators, you don't want to see your property getting put out that's there true. before you're ready Fair for point. it. Fair point. You know, and it's just it just it's not fair to them because these guys put all this time and effort into these games and all this all this you know yeah. money and then all of a sudden somebody just said, Oh hey, look what we found. You weren't ready for it, you know. But I mean this this is old stuff here, you know, seeing what was what was supposed to have been in a game, what what you know, what games might have might have come out and might didn't come out. I think they were even talking about a, ho- a hockey uh, RPG game that they didn't ever got released, you know. I mean it's just it's kinda interesting to just to see stuff that they had had on the on the back burner and so they were planning to do just never got put out that that kind of stuff i'm okay with and i don't think it's really a big moral dilemma as yeah. far as that information getting released. honestly it's new i mean i i get your point and then from that aspect it is her for uh creators and developing that game um i know they don't have you know the you know they're not the the, the people that are the final decision makers you know and it sucks for them because they have to build the product and and i think that's one of the things that it sucks about the gaming industry that some of these people make really, really good games, but the creative direction is chosen from other people higher up. And it could be great graphics. The game could be amazingly looking and great graphics, but if, if creative decisions are made on the story... Are we talking uh, about or, Anthem? <laughs> uh, like, Anthem, Anthem is a good example where, e, or you're trying, where EA is trying to rush things. Um, mm. You know, another example would be, you know, the creative direction in certain games, uh, like The Last of Us 2, mm-hmm. like that does affect everything. And it and, it's, and it fucks it fucks with the people who actually put all that work. Because yeah. and I'll say it here, and, and you know this, Alina, The Last of Us 2 is a beautiful game, in my opinion. It, it's a beautiful looking game. Yeah, it looks like. I, I, I won't take nothing away from that. Like, the graphics are amazing. Uh, the story's trash, caca, but everything else. But the thing is, we gamers like to have everything. We're, we're very spoiled in that regard yeah. we want to have good graphics a good game and a good story uh and if the story is fucked up the whole game is fucked up. so you know that's that's the issue there yeah well mm-hmm. go to tsushima then if you want everything <laughs> yeah. you should just get game, game of the year game of the year <laughs> but game you, have, year. Uh, you haven't even cyberpunk. played it and you're, still, you're giving it game of the year no the reason i haven't i haven't i haven't bought it yet is because i'm oh waiting my for God. For my the PS4 to be available for use again, because I'm not gonna buy it. And then once it's available for use, I'll. All no, right, bye. moving on. New Battletoads game has been announced. Now I, I don't know if this is the one that was like shown at E3 per se. I think that's the one. I think that's the uh, one. Is that was... it the one? I don't know, but it is. It, yeah. is, it is developed by Rare and De La Studios. Um, it I, it looks. Like a cartoon. It's it rare. looks like uh, what's that cartoon? Like the old one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, that's, where, that's, that's kind of where it all derived from. It was from was uh, the same area that when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out. Is when Battletoads came yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, no, the art style is more more of a recent looking game. Um, uh, uh, cartoon. But Rayman? anyways, Rayman? yeah, kind of yeah. like Rayman. Yeah, it's a remastered. Yeah. Kind of. But anyways, it looks it looks interesting. I mean, it looks like something I would want to play. Uh, what do you guys? Yeah, it looks like something it? I would play. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks like something I would play. I, I would I wouldn't mind playing with you guys and, and seeing how it goes. We can stream it. Oh, that's where the echo is coming from. Oh, I'm never so seen much. that trash ass. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? I'm scared. We're here. I'm we're never, here. I'm no. never. No. Why would I want to play Battletoads? Battletoads is first of all the old school game. Just wasn't that great. It's an okay game. <gasps> I don't understand why people are so hyped about bringing back Battletoads. Well, I'll tell so you why. why would I be any more encouraged about this new game when the original <laughs> no. game is average? That's a best. fair. That's a fair point. Um, but you, well, do I don't play, get it. You do play Animal Crossing, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the gameplay style of it. I like the it's, it's got both. Uh, I rather, I'd rather play this than stores. Animal Crossing. I rather so. play this than Animal. Crossing. Reading from the Polygon article, Rare and De La Studios reboot of Battletoads is coming to Xbox One and P- Windows PC via Windows 10 and Steam on August 20th. 
Microsoft announced Friday the game will launch on Xbox Game Pass for consoles and PC. The new Battletoads is a retro three-player beat-em-up platformer. And yes, the grueling like racing segments are back. Hell yeah. Just from a different perspective, as you can see in the launch trailer above. Uh, Battletoads uh, supports a drop-in, drop-out, local co-op play, and promises, quote, difficulty settings designed to suit everyone from Tadpole to Battletoad, end quote. Uh, that is right. I'm that is right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it. It's gonna be on uh, yeah. Game Pass. I have Game Pass. I'm very happy with my Game Pass. Thank you, Xbox. Uh, would you rather hear? Hey, would you rather hear all the action or? I gotta go plant my tree, guys. <laughs> I rather play games than an average game. game. <laughs> game. I gotta wait five hours my... for one of my friends to come in an airplane. <laughs> 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 I, I gotta wait for an entire like day. Five. See the the cinematic <laughs> of them coming in. Moving on, Marvels. <laughs> Avengers. They had a what do they call it? A war table where they showed some more gameplay yeah. and whatnot. Yes. Um. It. it I, I was watching. It actually pretty cool. Um. I didn't. I, I didn't see the first world yeah. war table. I saw this one. I was like, whoa, that looks actually pretty fun. And I'm not gonna lie. Like they they revealed their first like uh DLC character. I guess DLC character. And it's Hawkeye. Hawkeye. And it look yeah. he looks very it's cool all too. Free. No, it's not. Free. All three. <laughs> no, all three. No, it is. It is Hawkeye. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, what? It comes right, hold on. Let, me, let me read this article. Let me make sure you ain't just joshing me. All right. On July 29th, Crystal Dynamics hosted its second War Table stream for Marvel's Avengers. The studio previewed the game's upcoming beta and gave players a look into a look at Hawkeye, the, the game's first post launch hero. The Marvel's Avengers version of Hawkeye is Clint Barton, the same character Jeremy Reiner uh, plays in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This announcement comes after Dynamic Crystal Dynamics tease Hawkeye. On Twitter months ago, uh, okay. I'm trying to see what it says is free or not during the stream. Crystal Dynamics, like yada yada, it looks exciting. Yada yada yada. I'll post lunch heroes, including Hawkeye, are free for all Marvel's Avengers Woo! players. <gasps> Ooh, and just to take a look a little bit here at the beta starts August seventh on the PlayStation Four. You gotta have pre-ordered that game. And then on the 14th of August, Xbox and PC, of course, you got to have the pre-order as well. And then open for everyone on August 21st, 2020. So just looking at the beta, and there's a beta walkthrough that they prevented at the table. Mm -hmm. um, one of the coolest scenes I saw was three characters from three different players playing on the same screen and one was the Hulk, one was Thor mm -hmm. and the, the the main guy they were showing was the one with Thor and you can see Hulk at the bottom like jumping from building to building and we see Iron Man flying. Like it was so cool. Mm -hmm. um, if this game has me a little hyped up, I'm still a little bit on edge mm -hmm. because of, uh, you know that, that what's that game called with X-Men and Marvel? Ravel? Ultimate Alliance? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. This ain't Ultimate Alliance. No. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm well, sorry to I mean, interrupt. Go okay, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no. Well, the, the the game looks itself <laughs> amazing. Um, I can't wait to play this game with all of you guys on Xbox. I think it'll be bad. Okay. So PC. I think we can all. I I don't know if you guys remember when we first saw this game. I was talking mad shit. Yeah, you right. Were. I, I remember. Yeah, you I, were. I don't even forget. It's typical. I was list. talking straight up the graphics. Not shocked. I was very skeptical about it. Uh, why is uh, Crystal Dynamics the one? Aren't I mean why? Um, so I was just not so. This presentation that they just did, to me, in my opinion, is the best presentation of a game done all year so far. All mm. of the three times, all, all right. of these that are shown, Halo mm. Infinite, like. Ooh. Xbox show like all the presentations done PlayStation uh whatever this is the best showcase of a game I've seen so far um because er like they literally went through like every kind of thing every, uh -huh. like hey this is uh what the beta is going to consist of this is what you can see in the beta this is what you're going to be doing with your friends this is what you could uh, do solo like it's just kind of like okay like mm. each I, part I, of I it was like okay thing. I okay, will say one okay. Thing. They're pushing really hard for that character to be likable. That Who? new character that stretches Ms. Marvel? Like, like, Ms. Marvel? That, like, that, she's whatever she's uh the She's a comic book character. She, she, yeah, but she's the main character in the story, I think. Yeah, they're she's, pushing she's, a, she's, hard. she's the one getting everybody together. But it's it's better they use somebody that isn't like super popular 
versus getting someone that is because the one mm-hmm. that is popular you already assume they're already like great or whatever so yeah. you would assume like they don't really need to put the avengers back together so this is a good like way to put the story together oh well i'm always down to learn about new because you know i'm not big on the comics so yeah, i'm always neither am I. That... I'm always down to learn about new. She's heroes. a new character. She was. She, she was just created like. What? She has not been around. Miss Marvel is a different character. She flies around like Captain Miss Mar- Marvel. There's one for. That's Captain Marvel. That's Captain. Yeah, Marvel. there's one that Miss Miss Marvel that Rogue gets her powers from, um, and she steals her power. This character, uh, this is new. The original Miss Marvel was. Yeah, there's a there. there's a lot of changes they did. I mean. Even DC, mm-hmm. it was Captain Marvel. Then they changed it to what's the name? Kazan, whatever. <laughs> Shazam. Uh, oh, there you go, Shazam. <laughs> Shaz- That's a different company. <laughs> no, I know, but they had the name too. He was, yeah. I think, he was Captain Marvel or something like that. Yeah, this this is the fourth character to take the name Miss Marvel. Yeah, I'm I mean, it's guy. it's not hey, new, dude. Came out in November we, of 2013. If we play yeah. this game, we if we if we play this game, that'd be so badass. We could shit out of this. Yeah, and that's another thing I was gonna ask y'all. If you guys are getting this game. Then, because there's no crossplay, no, nope. right? It's no. it's uh, you're well, supposedly you're they, they, they will the add it, but supposedly at launch later, it yeah. So, if you guys are getting it on Xbox, then I I guess I'll I probably will get it on Xbox as well. If you are if you guys are gonna get it on Xbox, I'm gonna get but, it uh, on yeah, PC. I, this this presentation, this last war table has sold me on it. I'm hyped for it. I'm maybe gonna try to the beta before the open beta so. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped for this game. Uh, it it kind of sold me on it. The graphics are way better than when they first presented it. Um, Come on, yeah. Halo. Come on, Halo. Yeah. Get hey, it JD, together. You got, you, you're going to get it, right? You're going to get it? I might. I might. I mean, I'll, I'm, I got, well, hey, 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 hang on, hang on. I only got a, I only got a, a contract job, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to buy it. He has um, the money, but he's exactly yeah, different. It, yeah. It's not, it's not that I don't exactly want to. It's different. that I don't know if I'll have the money for yeah, it. Yeah, it's brand new. So. If you want uh, something, you'll moving find a way to on it. into sports. <sighs> How did it's a, did y'all it's see the, a home run. COVID-19. 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 Hey, did y'all see the NBA with the fans in the background? I no. thought that was yeah. pretty cool. I thought they that, had, that does look actually pretty cool. They added uh, cardboard or what? <laughs> no, oh they my. added a uh, TV screen. So it's like... Yeah. Screens with fans actually yeah, like actually they're li- oh and they're li- they're live streaming themselves. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how much that's they pay cool. for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <lie. laughs> uh, sports. <laughs> All right, let's get into the NBA. Actually, NBA season has big er, hosh they gone. So the re- the the season restarts once again, and I don't, haven't been watching, so I'll let y'all talk about it. <laughs> All right. Well, the first game pretty much was New Orleans against uh, the Utah Jazz. Now, New Orleans, outside the playoff race, they need to win at least seven games. And unfortunately for them, they lost the very first game against Utah. And right after that, they went yeah. off to the L.A. Clippers. So, you, let, me, let me ask you a question. Do you want to pull this informa- all this information out now or just give us a brief overview and then do all this stuff on the NBA show? Uh, I'll just give a brief overview, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail. So yeah. basically, the NBA is back. The LA, the LA uh, Lakers won the very first game. The Lakers won the very first game today, right? Today Sunday, so they're playing some games as well. The feel of it, honestly, there's not much difference. A lot of people were concerned about like the crowd noises and how players. Man, the games have been very, very competitive. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. De- the defense has not been well. I mean, it's to be expected. They've been out four months, so they're still gelling. But I honestly can say the referees. Right now, they have not had a lot of uh, uh, impact on the games as Lowe's claims. Like, these games have been competitive no, down to the wire. In, they like to impact the games during playoffs, not during regular season. Okay, well, we'll see you in the playoffs. Yeah, they're like, get it over uh, with. Come on. <laughs> a lot of these games are like playoff games, and they, these teams are good. They are. At it. They are. Now, and now, the only case that we saw where co- co- coronavirus was involved, uh, in just namesake, was basically with Lou Williams, the guard for the Clippers. Better. Uh, he guard. left. Veteran guard, yeah. He went, he, he left, he left the bubble the for a family death. And on his way out, you know what I'm saying? He has his favorite place called Magic City where they offer wings. And he stopped by to get some wings and he stated he, he was, he, he went in and out. Well, yeah. yeah. It, it turns out on Yahoo Sports, um, the Magic Dance, there was a Magic City dancer 
who says that she performed for Lou Williams, uh, basically contradicting Clippers guards in and out claim. And um, and I quote, working the day shift from 3 to 9 p.m., Arias says she danced last week for Williams, a regular at the club who has a dish named after him, the Lou Will Lemon Pepper Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> and after placing an order wow. with the Magic City Kitchen, uh, the high-scoring Clippers guard ambled around the club, Arias said. Ambled. Was, That's ambled. a good word. That's, That's a good word. Ambled around the club. He, he leisurely walked and sights. <laughs> and she was one of the few dancers who performed for him, but she kept a six-foot distance. Bullshit. She said, and I quote, he tipped very well. So I guess he went with, <laughs> I guess he spent more time there. But, but the NBA found out it was a big story. They basically suspended him for 10 games uh, and quarantined for 10 games. And that affected uh, the, the LA Clippers who lost to the LA Lakers. But overall, the field of the NBA, I'm glad to have it back. Honestly, the games have been competitive. Uh, there's a lot of teams trying to make the playoffs. So the playoff hunt is very, very tight. Luckily, my home team won against the Dallas Mavericks. There was literally no fucking defense in that game. It was horrible. But they, they pulled out a game where they should have lost. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, can I just add that? Also, I did see this. Uh, Lou Williams uh, re quote retweeted Kendrick Perkins because Kendrick oh, yeah. Perkins said, it's disturbing when a rookie in Zion Williamson can act more mature than the NBA vet Lou Williams. And then Lou Williams said, 15 years in this business. And the most dirt you have on my name is stopping to get hot wings during a pandemic. Perk, shut up and stop I laughing agree. and saying it's just TV when you run into me too. Well, all I know is Arias has <laughs> some other things to say otherwise. So Arias said he tipped. So I don't know. I don't know. But, he uh, he said he was there for the food. He insists. Yeah, but but right now we're we're seeing teams struggle at the beginning with the offense and defense. It's been an issue for them, I would say, um, just coming back. But I look forward to explaining more about uh, where the standings are at when we do that NBA thing right before the playoffs start. Yeah, um, our home day show this week, FYI, is basketball, the return of the season. All right, um, I, I'm very – NBA is doing it the right way, though. They're – the only way to run a sports league is to have everyone in a bubble. I mean, as in the U.S. at least. Other countries are able to do it with their, you know, players going home, players doing their thing. That's fine. Uh, the U.S. is just ain't the place to do it right now. Um, having these guys stuck in a certain place, like basically locked down, I mean, that's the only way you're really going to assure, reassurely, reassurely have a complete season. Because uh, as we're about to get into next, uh, other leagues are having trouble with that. The MLB not stopping despite coronavirus issues. Los? Yeah, so, uh, you know, when in one aspect, we have the NBA doing very well with their um, uh, procedures. You have the MLB just, uh, just already having problems. So uh, we're a week and a half, a week and a half in, into the season, and already we have the uh, Florida Marlins, who have already canceled games because a majority of their players tested positive, and uh, I believe the other team is the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, that had staff members <laughs> test positive. So both of those teams have now canceled games. Uh, the league has had to rush to reschedule games, to test, to make sure they're all clear. Mm -hmm. uh, the Florida Marlins are about to start playing, I believe, in, uh, on Monday at the time of this uh, podcast. Okay. Uh, they're going to start playing then because uh, the rest of their team have tested uh, negative. And they've gone out and made huge moves to replace the players that they lost due to COVID. So right. it's just... The, the MLB is just crazy because you have these players kind of doing their own thing, uh, going home. Uh, not all the players are being responsible and not, you know, going outside of their home. So you have this going on where uh, MLB is having to, like, come up with ways to fix situations. They've instituted a rule to make game seven innings now. So it's uh, on double headers. So in order to make up for the game's loss, you're doing double hitters, and they're only seven innings. What are you doing to baseball? Baseball is nine innings. Anyways, it's a whole mess. It's a whole debacle. Um, you know, uh, some people are contemplating whether this is just season isn't even valid anymore. 
if uh, whoever wins this season, um, does it even matter? Will this championship even matter in the end? I nope. mean, is it a valid season nope. uh, compared to NBA where, hey, that's a really competitive uh, uh, situation you have going on uh, and all that. So, yeah. Nope. All right, that's MLB. does anybody watch the the MLB like? Hey, can you it? can you focus on the podcast can, while you're can, doing can the you, podcast? Please? Can, 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 <laughs> who, who watch the MLB? Damn. Watch Antonio MLB Brown, moving to the NFL, has already been suspended at games, even though he doesn't have a team. Yeah, so the NFL pr- practically gave him um, an eight day suspension, uh, eight game suspension. So whenever he does join a team, now if we know that. Well, I mean, the thing with him is that he's still in his prime. Um, you can't really stop that. So, you know, he's 32. He's he's still there. Uh, he, I, I would say he has about another three or four more years to give Damn, it. Damn, I guess like one or two max. No, no, because he, 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 he hasn't played in two years. So, you know. Yeah, uh, and then he's never really had problems with injury except – that yeah, one year right. with uh, the Steelers. So he's never had problems with injuries. And, uh, yeah, he hasn't literally played in a couple of seasons. So Hey, look, Baltimore is interested in him. Uh, Tampa Bay is interested in him. You know, and he took the time in his Instagram to, you know, uh, post, uh, uh, you know, something. And, I, and I'll read it right here. And I, I look forward to new beginnings. I want to be the best version of myself on and off the field. Of course. And I will do my best to be a great teammate. I appreciate the NFL giving me the opportunity to continue to work. I wonder who wrote that for him. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, would I sign Antonio Brown? No. Uh, The guy, he's a lot of talk. This is not the first time you said that. Do I think he can play in the NFL? Yes. Do I? Would I sign him? No. The guy's just a ticking time bomb, time uh, waiting to happen, waiting to blow up. So many people talk shit about Tara. Tara Owens never did this, Uh, and so you know. I feel like Brown is a good wide receiver. He will get a team. He will be on a team. But he's going to have to wait eight games. So if I were him, I would try to sign real quick. Look, if I'm a shitty-ass team, why not? Why not uh, sign this guy? Or team, no, no, no. You can't say a shitty-ass team. One wide receiver going into the playoffs. You're man. breaking up. What? Um, you can't say that because some teams are one wide receiver away uh, okay. from being the playoffs okay. or going to the Super Bowl. If so, you're a 500 team, okay, why not sign this guy? What do you have to lose? Yeah, he won't be there to the end of the season, but screw it. It gives you a better chance of winning than not. He, he, he'll he miss half the season, basically. So I don't know. I, if I'm a 500 team, I'm doing it. If I'm like a like the Buccaneers, the Patriots, the uh, – Kansas City, no way I'm touching this guy. Oh, they're touching him. Oh, no, yeah, no touching way. Him. No way because but, I already have my team established. I have my chemistry in. No. I don't need any drama it, it when I'm on my way me. to the playoffs. It wouldn't surprise me if he joins Baltimore. I, I definitely believe he has a good shot of joining in Baltimore. They need a wide receiver there. Uh, you know, there's there was rumors uh, of him coming to Houston. Yeah, with, uh, with, Lamar, with Bill, what's his name? Lamar Jackson is Lamar pushing Jackson. Big, time big time to have Antonio on that team. And I don't blame him. The guy wants weapons. The guy wants to win. Um, yeah. That would be, a, I think, an ideal spot. Um, but I, I don't think it's going to happen, man. I don't think that manager yeah. wants to even – Risk it. Uh, Seattle, Seattle's a need. I mean, they do have that wide receiver, uh, uh, that that rookie wide receiver from last year. But yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they, they still need uh, Met- Metcalf. 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 Yeah, but they still need a, a one, which would be Antonio Brown. So there's teams, good teams out there that will get him. So you know, JD, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm just listening. No, actually, <laughs> no, I, think, I, think, <laughs> no actually I think it's uh, I think he's lucky he's getting to play at all. Uh, looking at some of the charges that were brought up against him, there have been other players who have been. Not allowed to continue in the NFL due to, due to mm. uh, Amen. Know, Amen. like that. So he's yeah, he, he's right. He's lucky he gets to keep going. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. I couldn't tell you how much you know what what I what, whether he would be. Really he's a fucking nut job. But I mean, you know, <laughs> you're right. He's only got maybe about four or five good years left on him at the most. I think most players they're done between within, within like between 38 and 40, and they're, they're you know and that's pretty much when they retire. Wide receivers so. have a less lifespan. Yeah. Than yeah. Like, well, yeah, those, those are usually quarterbacks, so 35, 34, 35, 35. 36. Yeah, yeah. 36 for wide receivers. He, he, he's really, if he wants to keep going, he's going to have to clean up his act off the field, like he said, as well as on, I mean, keep himself going on the field. Otherwise, you know, it's it's not going to just I mean, be this season. He's going to be done. He, he was doing fine with 
with the Patriots, and then all of a sudden you just like, I no, hate, I hate Ben, Ro- I hate Ben, I don't like this coach, I don't want to do this, I don't want to, like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, but it is what it is. All yeah. right, well, thank you, Tony Brown, for the news. Moving on into pop culture. Oh shit! Uh, pop culture. Uh, Splinter Cell TV series is coming to Netflix. Fuck that, man! I want a new game, man. Why yeah. is still not with the I game? God I don't damn need it. an anime. I don't, I don't need, need an, an anime. anime, man. I'll watch it. I will watch it. I will watch it too. You know, I will watch it too. I'll watch it. I'm not saying I won't watch it either, but what I'm saying, where's where's the game at? Where's the game? <laughs> <laughs> it's all time for a game right now. This from oh, comicbook.com Spinner Cell TV series from John Wick writer coming to Netflix. It's official. Spinner Cell is coming to Netflix. The beloved action game franchise is being, is being given a TV adaptation at Netflix thanks to writer uh, Derek Colstad. Uh, you may not know Colstad's name on its own, but he's uh, the writer behind Keanu Reeves' John Wick films. Variety reported on Thursday that Netflix and Ubisoft had teamed up for Colstad's project, which will be an animated original series for the streamer. Uh, Colstad will serve as writer and executive producer. Fortunately for fans, the Spinner Cell series won't be a one-and-done kind of thing. Netflix has reportedly given the series a two-season, 16-episode commitment. Spinner Cell will be stylized as an adult animation, uh, though no other details about the show have been revealed at this time. I love anime. I love anime. I'm not. Actually, I'm actually looking forward to it as well. I'm not. I'm not. I don't watch a whole lot of anime, but I think that would be actually because I am. I am into the Spinner Cell series, so I think it would be kind of fun to watch that. Hey, Where's look. the game at, bro? Stop fucking with me. Dude, true. I want a game Where's too. I want another at? game too. That's what I'm looking forward to. But right now, well, but I mean, again, well, we're not going to see this for at least another year. Hey, Netflix, shut the fuck up and bring Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Damn, I've been waiting for two fucking years. Hurry the fuck up. What's oh, Cowboy Bebop? No, I'm yeah, kidding. What is that? Yeah, man. I want a, I want a new Spirit of Cell game, man. Like, yeah. hopefully, look, if this show comes before a new game, hopefully people. <laughs> The developers see Ubisoft sees that hey, people want this content. Like if we if a lot of people watch the show, maybe that opens Ubisoft eyes. Like, man, people want more content from Spinner Cell Universe. Like, let's give it to them. But the fact that this has been so long, like, come on. Like Yeah, the like, last game was in 2013. Like, come on, man. We're yeah. about to hit a decade maybe before we see a new game. Like, that's crazy. And that's a successful franchise. It is. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, moving on here. Um, TikTok again is supposedly now was supposed to be banned yesterday on the first of August. Uh, this is from an IGN article. President Trump says he will ban TikTok in the United States as early as Saturday, August first, right, right after he builds his wall and does all the other things he's been promising. Uh, well, actually, as reported by CNBC, <laughs> President Trump told reporters that he will ban TikTok from the United States as early as Saturday, August 1st. Quote, as far as TikTok is concerned, we're banning them from the United States. Uh, end quote, Trump said. The move will come through an executive order of another method, although Trump did not specify, of course, action, what action he would take. As far as the reports stating that Microsoft is interested in purchasing TikTok from parent company ByteDance, Trump said, Quote, he didn't support the report spinoff deal, end quote. Uh, I mean, I, I, <clears throat> with the data, I'm not really sure what data is being gathered by China. To, but apparently all of it, a, all of it, a, a lot of like, it. All, all, everything that's in your phone, TikTok, in those disclosures, they have the right to go in there. And yeah, because like you, ha- you, you give them the OK to like let you look, let you look through the video, your your camera. You give them the okay to use your microphone. You give them the okay to go through your pictures and videos that you have stored on your phone. And the, and whatever you do them. on the app itself, you give them the okay for that. So they're, they're just taking all app, that shit. <laughs> outside of the app as well. They can see yeah. what you're doing outside of the app. If well, you're looking at other apps, if you're looking at... Yeah. Which, granted, a lot of American apps... I mean, a lot of them they do already that do that. Well. Yeah, they already do that. But the problem here is that the owner... the final owner of this app is like run by china china government and that's the problem right that's uh, what we're seeing I, I feel sorry for people who became popular because of a tiktok 
Yeah. Those, uh, TikTok stars. <laughs> <Pitch>. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Hell no, that's JD. He's always on that. I just, I recently came back to it though. I was like, you know what, China? It's... I buy your products. You already have all my information. What the fuck? <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. well and, and, and it does look like Microsoft is interested in buying it. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Yeah. Microsoft is interested. So I, I think they probably will buy it. Cause nah, said, hell no. They better he... buy fucking Take Two and, uh, Nether realm first before they buy this shit. Yeah, exactly, well, and you know agree. what else? Fuck that. And they better work on their goddamn graphics on the Xbox. Oh uh, before they well, if they get TikTok, they probably get the filters animal. on there, make them look real. Make them look real. That day, as long as they do something to fix those goddamn graphics, I'll be happy. Goddamn All right, uh, can't wait to see if TikTok is banned or not. Is it still, it's still, it's still active, right? Let me check my phone. It's still active. <laughs> <right. laughs> Even if he signs the executive TikTok, order, it can still take weeks for it to go to the place. So. home workout beginners. Okay. Yeah. Still active. It's still active. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, another AMC <laughs> Theaters is now making a deal with Universal. Ooh. I thought they were arch enemies that were once friends, but now friends again. Uh, but hey, money talks. Money does talk. You're right. Money does People talk. People are full of shit when it comes to money. Uh, <laughs> AMC Theaters and Universal's unprecedented deal will put movies on demand much faster the theatrical release window will be shorter than ever whenever there is one uh this is the article from polygon universal pictures is one of the uh was one of the film studios to respond quickly to the covid 19 pandemic pushing its movies to premium vod early a uh, video on demand and thereby landing itself in hot water with AMC theaters, the world's largest movie theater chain. But after a months long public spat, the two companies have come to the multi-year agreement that should keep both parties happy. And that signals a seismic seismic change in the way films are distributed. The conflict started in March before we had any idea how long the public places like movie theaters would be closed. When universal release, uh, Trolls World Tour, uh, JP's favorite movie, onto premium BOD platforms. At the time, at the same time, it had been scheduling to hit theaters. AMC took its uh, this shortening of the traditional theater the, theatrical quote window quote the period during which movies play exclusively in theaters as a direct affront and announced in, in retaliation that it will no longer show any universal films at all. This has turned out to be a, a pretty irrelevant threat since U S movie theaters have remained closed since March. <sighs> Honestly, folks, Ellie I mean, is a lot more eloquent than this. He really is. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think with everything that's happened, you have to give some leeway and compromise. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I think that's I, going yeah, to happen. I think, I think they said too, like once movie theaters open too, I something about like you don't have to wear a mask when you're in there. Like I think that was like one of the things they were saying that they're not gonna force people unless it's like like state law or something. I don't know. I forgot. It was something weird like that. Like once look, they do open. Look, the reality is there's no better way to watch a movie than the comfort of there yeah. has to be a market there's for no that. what? There has to be a market. There's no better place to watch a movie than your own. Oh, your own home. You keep cutting out. out. (laughs) And honestly, I don't mind $20 for a brand new movie to watch it here at my I agree. No, I'd rather watch it in theaters. Honestly. I'd rather watch it here. Um, I'd rather, like, get out of the house. I've been quarantined my entire life. Nah. I'd rather go watch it in the comfort. Get some popcorn. You know what? I literally, like, was thinking about this on Friday. I was like, man, it's been so long since I've been to the movies. I miss going and getting ready. Make yourself a movie night at home. I miss like going to the movies, uh, getting my popcorn, you know, sitting down. That shitty ass popcorn chairs, from the garbage can. The big old, <laughs> big old screen, chilling, uh, seeing the the trailer. Like I miss the experience, man. I mean, yes, we can all watch it at home, but it's more like the experience too. I don't know. I'm yeah. tired of going to AMC. It's like it's like you can, of course, you can watch like you can watch sports at home, but wouldn't you rather go watch it in person? Oh yeah, but sports is That's different. what I'm saying. Sports is different. No, it's not. It's the same thing. You're not participating. Well, right? Here's the difference. <laughs> I'm, tired of going, I'm tired of going to the marquee. I'm tired of going to AMC where you go and go to better tickets, theaters and, <laughs> and, and and the sound is go off, to better but, theaters. Uh, you go uh, into the, the hood theaters. Like, like I stop going to Magic Johnson dollars. theaters. <laughs> would, we don't even have it in Houston. I'd rather buy a sound for my TV and pay twenty dollars and I can watch in the cup. And I already have the movie theater. Uh, type of seats at the crib, so I'm like, zoop, let's go ahead and watch this goddamn movie. I, I'd rather be at home, to be honest. That's true. I, I well, I think this is just AMC acknowledging that 
they have no choice. If they want to yeah. survive, survive in this market that is now COVID, uh, you know, uh, after COVID, uh, they're going to have to adapt. And so they can't just stick to their guns and say, no, you can't release your shit. Ever. No, fuck you. You got you to gotta <laughs> evolve. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you're going to fail as oh, a business, which they're really close to going bankrupt. So yeah. they got to come up with other ways of revenue. Uh, right now, their fucking <laughs> app is like, on demand. You can watch this on demand. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> you better fucking evolve. Because if you don't, you're going to be uh, left out. Well, you're going to be old. Uh, uh, you know, you're going to be the old news. You're going to get passed up. There's going to be something else. Yeah, to that it, comes. It's really crazy. Like how to like literally think about like what things are going to be like post COVID. Like it is going to change a lot of things. Like a lot of things. Well, I mean, for me, it's in a, in a way it's better because I like people anyway. So I can just stay away from them even more. Um, the only people I, I like to be with, are like my friends, and my family. Uh, so, you know, I, I get your point <laughs> business wise. And it's going to take some time to get over. It's not going to happen right away. It's going to be a couple of years to make over. I think a lot of money was lost. But hopefully all these companies adapt. And we we now know, hey, E3 is... Now we know that E3 is something special. Because we're seeing all these fucking gaming consoles come out with their stupid-ass uh, uh, showcases. <laughs> they all fucking suck ass. So now we know... What? The you don't like the, the spread out <clears throat> of different videos? of You don't know when they're going to come out? Yeah, Nintendo like, like release videos like every yeah. other whenever they feel like releasing. Yeah. And movie theaters and movie theaters have now shown that they're greedy. They want people to go to the movie theaters and get sick of coronavirus. <laughs> and people want to stay home and they have to adapt. And so now we know, hey, you know, and like it, this is for restaurants. Restaurants too. Restaurants. I mean it's everybody. Of, I mean it, yeah, I it's mean everybody. to be it's cuz like I, I can't really hate them either because it's the business. It's their business. Yeah, they want sure. it to survive, you know. So of course they're gonna fight a little bit more for it than a uh, person who's not there working, making money off of that. Like I get it, but honestly, like it, I just feel like in the future, dude. I don't know what's gonna happen. Everything's unprecedented right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if this is like how is it gonna affect movie theaters uh malls uh shopping centers anywhere like where there's crowds of people stadiums like is it gonna move into the future where um <clears throat> hey you're here's a mask you can wear like it, and it you know it won't look weird now because i mean because of what COVID's doing to everybody you know like yeah. how long is that gonna last even even to the point where it's not, like look, not everybody's not gonna, gonna, gonna get past that and let's, i mean at this point at this point honestly i think like we're still going to be quarantined like sometime next year. I think this is, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm telling sure. you, dude. I, like I said, I knew like this is going to last longer than a couple of months. Like that's like, what we don't I mean, we, look what we said in March where, yeah. okay. by I thought, Oh, by by my birthday in August, we're going to be good. We're, I'm going to be able to do a fucking bar thing. No one cares about your birthday. <laughs> hey, and no one's going to care about yours. Cause you're going to be in the same situation. Uh, we're, I don't sound, I don't I mean, winter's birthday. coming. If, if summer didn't solve the problem, winter sure is not because that's when people get more sick. And so winter doesn't last. I mean, doesn't end until uh, January, February. So true. I don't see this problem going yeah. away anytime soon. Well, I mean, with winter, I could see it going away faster because people, more people are more likely to stay inside because of inside, cooler weather. Exactly. Kind of thing, so so. I'm, I'm kind but, of waiting for winter. I think by next year, the sure will be okay. It, but, but as far, as, far as, sorry, oh, but, as far as the uh, movie thing goes, I mean, you got to be honest. A three-week window is not a big deal because most movies rotate out after three weeks anyway. You know, they, they usually have the, the first big couple of weeks starts to die down after that first week and that third week. And then usually within the fourth fourth and fifth week, it's being rotated into the back of the theaters mm -hmm. and, and more of those just have come again. So, look, Hollywood has to adapt if they because they're going out of business <clears throat> right now. They're suffering. If they want to fucking adapt, they're going to have to learn how to make movies uh, through this pandemic. And not only that, how to allow the consumer to have access to those movies. I understand. We have to pay. That's a fact. That's just business. But I ra I'd rather watch in the comfort of my own home than risk my health. So at the end of the day, my health is going to win over your piece of shit movie. Well, and there's even a, even a quote from the a COVID uh, party like not too long ago. What do you mean? <laughs> no. I, and honestly, I, I have had get together, but it's people. And Los was there. Uh, he had his little mask yeah. on for at yeah. quiet time. Um, I, I do not have COVID. The people I invited did not have COVID uh, for a fact. Um, and precautions were taken. Uh, things were clean. Everybody you know had I'm protection. I'm not dirty person. Um, so, and, and matter of fact, it was really weird. Though, it was like we were all separate. 
same way. Like we were, we were like we were there, but we were kind of far apart of somebody. So it can't be done, but you have to have responsible adults. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. And you know, as a, as, as, as a company, you you have consumers that want to buy your product, and you have to learn how to your present your product in a safe and free way at this point. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so that's gonna end this week's episode. But let's close it out with our final punches. JD? Um, I, yeah, not a whole lot. Of, I mean, besides my contract job, and uh, I will probably do a review of uh, the Umbrella Company, Company on my own channel. Yeah. Yeah, on my own channel. So if anybody wants to check me out there, it's the same thing, JD McKinney 78. I keep it simple. YouTube.com, JD McKinney 78. Yeah. My, 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 yeah, my social media is easy to find, so you can find it. But um, yeah, I'll probably do that, so hopefully we'll have that by, this, by sometime this week as well. Nice. And no, that's it. Uh, for my final punch out, punch out, out. Oh, bad. Punch, punch out, out. Uh, punch out. Um, shout out to Ghost of uh, Tsushima. It's the fastest selling new title ever on PS4. Uh, I really hope Cyberpunk beats it. Um, but Cyberpunk for all platforms, so I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm really hoping. I think these two titles, Punk and Ghost of Tsushima, are going to be neck and neck for a game. Uh, my final punch out. Uh, I've uh, I'm streaming again after months and months of not streaming. So follow my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash public enemy fifty nine. Uh, I'm streaming uh Ghost of Tsushima at the moment uh fully on Twitch. So uh, if you want to see me run through there and get my ass whipped by samurai <laughs> or Mongols, whatever, uh, tune in. All right. Hey, Amen. Well, I. Uh, speaking of streaming, actually, uh, I have brand new overlays, a new point system. I'm gonna be doing giveaways every end of the month, like that are separate from. Actually, they're they're called like they're, there's gonna be winners for point system at the end of the month, and then I'm still gonna do giveaways. Um, I'm super excited that like for the people watching on YouTube, you can see my background now. I don't have my green screen anymore, so it's it's a different look. It's gonna be like uh kind of like a work in progress as as the days go, like uh as the months and whatever. So it's gonna keep adding to it, look different. It's gonna be changing um i'm excited about that and what else uh, I, uh grounded guys check out grounded i think it's on steam and uh, on the xbox game pass if you have that super fun game it's uh this Not a sponsor. right now right now i think uh the full game comes out on august 4th isn't it on switch isn't it on switch no no uh it, the full game comes out august 4th um right now you can you can play the preview of it where you play like a portion of the of the storyline like right now but you can still play like the regular game without the story um it's it's really good it's fun it's like honey i shrunk the kids uh, meets uh fallout even though i don't like fallout it's kind of like that it's <laughs> it's really fun dude. but it's really good it, it feels really great i've been playing it on pc uh check it out if you have game pass or steam buy it on there um other than that fuck hyperscape i can never win a game in that piece of shit fucking game i hate it i'm giving up on it gg's in the chat and that's it all right guys all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for everybody who's been watching on youtube and listening on podcast services such as spotify apple Podcasts, and any podcasting platforms brought to you by anchor anchor lets us distribute these podcasts for free everywhere thank you anchor uh if you guys want to get in contact with us we're on twitter instagram facebook or here in the comments the comments on youtube and of course we're in your mom your mama your mama (laughs) all right ladies and gentlemen thank you again for listening and watching Bye bye